This playthrough is rated E10+. Yeah, look at all that, uh, look at all that, uh, money there, man. Greetings and salutations, viewers, on our back here with another episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. In the last episode, we followed the, uh, the Guardians to Esporte to help them with their own little situation since we can't go back to the mercenaries. Might as well help them with this thing. And, uh, well, we got a new an, uh, ally in Anita, and it looks like the society is already here, so it looks like it's an uphill battle. So we're just kind of having to plow through these new enemies because they're a lot tougher and they're taking a lot more hits to finish off. But uh, luckily, I get, gained quite a few percentages with my shotgun while I redid this level. I only did it one time because I didn't think I really needed that much more experience. But I got a decent amount of money from it, so as you can see there. And yeah, if you, so I couldn't get quite get, actually I think 70,000 is what I quoted at. If you hit everything, and you destroy the right enemies. If you, basically if you stop at that first spot in the area where you can go into the, into the water and just kill jeeps, That'll get you this much experience, 70,000, so. So enough to get Rook some levels at least, so. At least. Eh, close. I probably could have done another recording, but. Alright. Anyway, let's head on to our next destination. The, uh, Colgare. I guess I could have done it one more time for another level myself, but eh. All right, let's, uh, oh yeah, I also went and bought some fuel, although I did lose quite a bit of HP during this, during this setup here, so, so all that HP and items I bought have already filled up, but, oh well. Actually, let's take a look at our outfit, see how, how our shotgun leveled up. Our body's at 30% now, so, unfortunately it just takes a really long time for the veneer, although there's almost no point to really level up the veneer, really. The body, you have to get hit, hit and all this other stuff to up, uh, get that higher, so. Uh, 32%, eh, I would have liked it to be higher, but, uh, I thought I killed quite a few dudes, but, oh well, what can you do? Alright. Alright, let's, uh, head on to the next section, so. A Brazilian military base? Calgary houses a high-level society computer complex. I'm hoping to pick up a few tidbits here. Like the location of their headquarters? Exactly. We're gonna do a bit of hacking. A how? I don't know the first thing about computers. But you're driving a Bonzer. Doesn't it require computers and so with it? No sweat. I, if you hook up a data cable to mainframe, I can access it from the carrier. I'll see what I can do. Good luck. Good, good luck. I can't help myself. Every time I hear good luck, I always have to uh, repeat the star boxing. Brenda, I'm on my way to the data bank. Contact me as soon as you find it. I'll guide you from there. Roger. Oh no, my name's Brenda. No, I'm just kidding. So, all right. Yeah, we have to go through this complex. So, Colgari has a uh, Colgari has a outside and an interior. On it, so, all right. Yeah, we got. Oh yeah, uh, we got two items on the outside section, and then we've got for the outside area, we've got gun emplacements, laser monsters, and shell monsters. So, yeah, I decided to take Rook with me. Yeah, these guys, even with me building up my uh, weapon a bit, I'm still taking a few shots, but luckily I'm doing a bit more damage than before. So, see, like, I one-shot you that one guy, for example, so... Let's see, okay, so we can drop down... Drop down here. Oh, yeah, I can't actually... Alright, time to get Albert out of there. Nope, someone spawned there, of course they did. I have to uh, leave and come back, maybe, because I don't think I can hit him from here. Let me see if I can... Actually, is there anything over there? Uh, yes. However, an enemy might spawn, so let's find out. Hey, Rook, don't get... Take too much damage while, while you're up, up there. Alright, here we get... Uh... The Rybent Skoe, which is uh, Emil's uh, Mac. We get third, the third version, if you haven't bought it already, which I might as well give it to him, since I haven't been using Emil. I mean, email wouldn't be that bad. Like I said, he does heal at 50%, so it's not. So, and I've, there's been quite a few times where I've gotten pretty low HP. So maybe get a repair kit one for for this, but unfortunately, whoa! Did did a mech just spawn there while I was trying to do that? Okay. Well, anyway, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for this section. So we can go on. So we can basically get to the end of the map. So. I don't think we're too, too much damage, so I don't have to go back to him. Now he is. Yeah, these uh, these kind of placements are a bit more movie, if that makes sense. Yeah, 
trying to, to get close enough to this thing, so. Yeah, what they drop a decent amount, they give you a decent amount of experience. About a thousand, so. Whoa. Let's see. I don't think there's. I was about to say, I didn't think there's anything it's supposed to be over there. I think it was just a, a macro on the, uh, that spawned on the outside. It's kind of nice that the, uh, if the gun emplacements explode, they don't do the whole, you know, they don't leave residue so you can stand up next to them and bash them and not take too much damage, or take extra damage when they're blowing, blowing up. Get away from me. Ah. I guess I should still learn to block those lasers, even though I can't, like, really, um, completely negate the damage from that, so. Okay, whoa! Should've blocked there. Gotta use my new shield, folks. Anyway, uh, there's two items here, and there's, uh, Aerial Vonzer, purple versions. There's soldiers, uh, gun emplacements, and sweeper drones. So, alright. And most, and this is one of those places similar to, I forgot what the name of the map. This one also has a circle. that You can go in circles in this place because of the, uh, um, how the level goes. So, all right, we want to get to the first treasure. So, or I guess the treasures. All right, the chafe dispenser here, and, <laughs> whoops, ran into it. We get the ground seeker here. So, all right. And then if we want to just, oh, we want to just go to the entrance we want to get to. We want to head this way, so that way we can skip, uh, are you going to keep jumping? I was hoping you keep, uh, trying to jump at me. Like a, like a lost puppy or something like that. Ooh, I'm gonna get him! I'm gonna get him! Ooh. I'll, I'll just wait. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, might as well. This is actually kind of uh, annoying to wait for, so I'll just keep going. No point in waiting, so. Alright. Should be this one. See, this is the... Yeah. Okay. Since we already got the items in here, we don't have to worry about going after everything else, so... Okay. So, uh, let's see. Let's see, I'm trying to, I have to, and this place has multiple doors here, so I'm looking at my notes where it put here. So if we want to go back the way we can, we can either go through this one or the top left doorway. Uh, we'll just go back to one another. Um, okay, so we want to go this door right here. Okay, so now we're in a new area. Okay, so we just need to drop down to this door, so. Yeah, sorry, I like, you know, for maze-like areas, I like to make sure my notes are ready to go, so now anyway, let's go to this door. Okay, and then, you know, this door. Oh, whoops, I, I, I didn't mean to go through that door. I meant to go for a little bit further. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Uh, no, that's... Uh, I think that's supposed to be... Let's see. No? I, I guess it's the other door. Okay. Sorry. I guess I miswrote this in my note or whatever, so... That's the door I want to go through. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I wrote down, I when I wrote my notes for like the, which door I need to go through, I wrote immediately right. I'm like, why? It's to my left. I don't know. I must have been smoking something when I wrote that down. This must be the mainframe. What now? Get out of your Vonser and hook up the data cable. I'll take care of the rest. Roger. All right. All right, nerds, out of my way. Damn it. We waste our time. What? This thing hasn't got the clearance. We need everything about the society itself. It's locked down tight. What now? Fall back. Or sorry, fall back. We'll have to try our luck at Via Blanca instead. What about general data? I'm not about to leave empty-handed. Yeah, we killed all those people, dude. Just a sec. 
Aha, that warship we ran into earlier is the Rio de Sambo. Seems like a dance routine. Seems it's connected to a facility located at Galsta. That ain't a hell. Perfect. Thanks, babe. I'm heading back now. Alright. Yeah, we just automatically go back, so the game doesn't make us go back through the base again, so. Yay! Took a lot of damage from that, though. But yeah, look at all that money. Yeah, we should be pretty good for the money for the rest of the game. If I, if I do any grinding at all, it's for experience. Look at that. Yeah, a lot of money, a lot of experience. Oh, oh. All right, now we can buy his fourth uh, outfit, the DCL3 R4 Fusug. Another level for us. Now we can buy the Laser 4 and the Hard Knuckle 5 at this point. All right. Might as well go buy his next max, so. Next stop, Via Blanca. Guys, we've already planned an all-out assault there. I don't know if we'll be able to get to him before our forces leave the place. Level the place. Damn! Can't you postpone the attack? It's too late for that now. We'll manage. Hell, we can use the assault as a diversion. If we attack first, the Guardians will lose the benefit of surprise. That'll place them in a tight spot. What about us? Dot, dot, dot. We don't have a choice, do we? Fine, bring on the Guardians. I'm sorry. Well, rather than just sit and wait, why don't we take a crack at that Zeria de Sambo? No sense in leaving a weapon like that flying around. That means tracking down that facility in Galsta. It's worth a shot. All right, I'll lead you there. All right, there it is, way up in the distance. All right, now if you want to go faster on the map, pull the, pull the, I think it's the Y button. Sorry, I'm not using an original SNES controller for this, so I know I'm sitting on a bed of lies. But anyway, let's go back to the shop really quick uh, and re, uh, re, uh, outfit real quick. Yeah, since we took quite a bit of damage from... Oh, actually, I didn't need to heal Rook because I was just going to buy his other... I should be able to buy his other mech here. Whoops. Oh, well, whatever. Not a big deal. That doesn't bug me that much. All right. Let's see. Yeah, Rook's uh, 100000 for his new mech. We have the money for it. No problem. Now let's... Uh, be... I'm just going to buy the fuel. I don't need to save the 10% anymore. It's it's uh, mean, uh, menial at this point. Uh, let's see. Can I buy the... It, I think no I can't uh, yeah I can buy the hard knuckle five might as well buy that while we're here so I'm not using the hard knuckle as much as I used to but oh we're at 49% on the shotgun nice. uh, I think we're good actually oh actually might, might want to buy might want to buy a repair five just to have it in my inventory just in case buy another repair three or repair four I mean. Oops. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. I need to remind myself to sell some stuff later. Okay. And now let's change our Rook's outfit. Now you get a lot more HP there. And then equipped us with the hard knuckle. Even though like I said we don't really need it that badly, but might as well. Five. Yeah, I just have to gain more levels so we can actually access the other uh, um, equipment, but not now. All right, how done the gal stuff? All right, we've uh, done everything, so let's deploy. Galsta, we didn't even think they'd have a base out here. You said this place was connected to the Rio de Sambo. Provided what we got from Kolgar was accurate anyway. Be careful, Albert. You're entering unknown territory. I know. I thought fussing over Albert's safety was your job, Brenda. You're not going to take that line down, are you? Well, what? Don't be ridiculous. It's it's about high time somebody else starts looking after the boy. Thanks, Anita. Uh, what for? Oh, never mind. Take care, Albert. Uh, yeah. I, I will. 
Uh, too bad Clark has basically disappeared. Uh, Clark hasn't said anything for quite a while, and uh, Axel hasn't said anything. Yeah, unfortunately, this game doesn't really it doesn't do that good of a job of like letting some of the other side characters kind of have moments uh, as much. Except uh, like Clark stopped talking for quite a while now at this point, so oh well, it's not a big deal, but it's just one of those things. So anyway, okay, so anyway, we got uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five items on this map. We've also got attack monster, purples, gun emplacements, bombardier monsters. And we needed to destroy, uh, let's go over the data. Find the warship, but we also have to destroy um, um, some structures around here while we're here, so. What the? What is this bad boy? A jamming device. That explains why we didn't spot the warship until they were right on top of us. Hey, Brenda. Brenda. Oh, right, jamming device, dot, dot, dot. Damn it. They're jamming our communications. The translators like to use damn it a lot. <laughs> anyway, if we could just destroy it. Guardian monsters! Call it all units, scramble, scramble! All right, no, that guy's dead. All right, almost done. There we go. Yeah, we want to destroy these things. I don't know if that changes the uh, the mission data. Yeah, destroy the jamming array. Yeah, I actually haven't been showing that off over the course of the game, but if you look at that com uh, computer data, it tells you what your objective is. I just never, I just never thought of uh, thought point to really point that out because I already know what I need to do. So, actually, it's a uh, punch it, punch it. Okay, I'm not doing it. I need to build up my fist to do more damage to the same so. I love I love doing the punch and then um, let's see I didn't miss anything while we were oh I did okay I'll go back there in a second oh right I have to go turn into Albert on this one so, all right let's go back I forgot that there was a drop point here so Whoop. no the bad thing about this place is it's isolated so. Whoop. yeah I like I like shooting guys and the punch and the knock it back and then uh. See, we've got some bullet restoration here. And the Espada 3 for Anita. So, yeah, I don't have to buy another one if I want to use her again. Like I said, it's really hard to utilize Anita properly um, on this in this just because of her ship. Yeah, she's a little hard to hit sometimes, but depending on the situation, she might get uh, forced. All right, I think we've killed quite a few dudes. We'll probably, whoop. Nope. All right, I was hoping that they have they would suffer, they wouldn't respawn for a second so I could like go in there so I could turn to Albert for a second. Okay. I mean, we might have to, well, let's see. Eh. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, they can't get to me here anyway, so. All right, anyway, get a heal. Yeah, but you can only get there as Albert. Anyway, well, I mean, we are Albert. Wah! Come on, kill him, Rook. Okay. Yeah, that's the only dangerous part is I'm not maxed out on my gear and everything like that, so I have to be careful. Yeah, I have to be careful at this point in the game because we're going to start taking a lot of damage. Yeah, see. Uh, okay. Yeah, these guys hit harder, like a lot harder. So. I took a punch this thing just so I could get experience for my knuckle. Yeah, did you see how fast my HP like started dwindling in certain parts, depending on if I was hit by like multiple uh, uh, mech explosions? Yeah. And yeah, getting getting a little getting a little spicy. All right, should be. Let's see, I think I don't see. Uh, yeah, actually, there should be a repair three around here somewhere. So. Oh. oh, yeah, and there's a jamming grenade right down here. Ah. Well, I'll, I'll be down to repair three by the end of this, but that's fine. I'm kind of surprised Rook hasn't taken, like, a ton of damage. All right, there's a special weapon bullet, so we can refill our ammo if we need to. And then there's the repair kit.
Punch it, punch it. Ah. Boys. Yeah, you do take damage, by the way, when you do that, so. I can't even get down there from there, huh. I guess the whole idea was to go, um, uh, go to that jam here, then drop down, and then get to this one, but no. I just drop double checking something, so, nope. Punching it. Punch like your life depends on it. And it kind of does. Or, oh. Brenda, can you hear me? Loud and clear. The radio's finally working again. Yeah, the jamming array's out of commission. We should be able to find the Rio de Sambo now. All right, right. Let's get started. Yeah, and we end, as soon as we immediately destroy that, we've done. But yeah, look at how much damage I've been taking. Whew. Even with the armor and everything like that, I still take more damage. But yeah, we got a lot of money for that, though. And we'll get experience. Mm -hmm. I still find that one level a bit easier to do experience because you can just kind of sit there and grind on dudes in the, in the water or whatever. So, all right, level 30 for Rook. And level 31 for us. Which now we can buy the 20, uh, Vulcan 5, the Homie Missile 5, the Missile Pod 5, and the Spark Shot 5. There they are. They're not getting away again. Full speed ahead. Yeah, we had to, except we had to go all the way across the other side of the map to get to it, so let's speed up a triangle. Let's go back to the shop really quick. I think I should be able to buy homie missile fives here if I remember. Let's double check really quick though. That way I can get the final, final uh, uh, homie missile. Yep. All right, nice. Now I, can, now I just have to wait till I get like the bazooka and everything like that will be good. Then I can start trying to grind these things for max damage if I can, if I can do that. So, now we missile five. And yeah, look at the AP difference between. Oh well, mainly because I haven't actually gotten the homing missiles to a higher percentage. But yeah, look at that it goes from 397 to 660. So, and then if we can get that to max, mm -mm -mm. yes sir. Uh, okay. Now it looks like you got a bit of a HP bump too for Rook. So. All right, let's uh, buy more fuel really quick while we're here, just to get out of the way. So now I'll start using homing missiles again to uh, beef up the homing missile five. So, okay, let's head on to the Rio de Sanbo. All right, what's that done then? All right, let's uh, let's resupply. Damn. Uh, taking all that damage. Whew. I'm picking up a ship ahead of us. It's got to be the Rio de Sambo. It's headed it's straight for our forces. Y'all, you mean they knew y'all were coming? We ought to keep our distance then. If a bonds, if is a bonzer attack possible if it keeps at this altitude? Yeah, they're flying fly low, no radar either. They'll get ready. I'll get ready then. That's too dangerous. I've got a good chance if we can surprise them. Have you forgotten Genoise is on that ship? The whole attack will be jeopardized if we don't do something. Our only chance is to strike while the we can still catch them off guard. You know, while the iron is hot. Albert, you're always putting yourself in such danger. At least let me help you for once. I need it. Your life's going to be on the line. It's all right. I'm here because I wanted to help you, remember? All right, I'll think about it. Please. Da, da, da. Yeah, except you can choose this mission before uh, have a Anita. Now there is some story stuff if you choose Anita to help you, uh, but you know, like I said, he's, she's not as useful as like Rook is or whatever. Then he's got a fix on you. Damn. Oh well, at this range they'll have spotted me sooner or later. All right, let's uh, go on in. There's no enemy. There's sorry. There's enemies here. There's no items here. So just go straight to the level until we fight the Riaz Samba himself. 
And all the enemies here are the jet monsters. All right, so we can start. Well, I'll save it for the boss. There it is over there. <laughs> all right, similar to that one fight with um, Janois. I knew you'd show up eventually. You're fighting a losing battle, Albert. Destroying the ship won't break via Blanca's defenses. The Guardians don't have a chance. Take a look around, Janois. They've thrown their elites into the fray now. Don't you see? We're winning. Do you realize what the tale before you've awakened? There'll be nothing compared to the anger of the world once they've learned the truth about the society. Much as I'd like to continue this, I'm afraid they're expecting me a Via Blanca. Don't be late. Janois! Yeah, coward. Anyway, yeah, he's just gonna run off. All right, let's just destroy the ship. Oh yeah, I guess I could go over that. Rio de Sambo is armor level five. It get, drops thirty thousand seven hundred twenty experience. Has a Vulcan, it has the Vulcan guns, and has, can drop two thousand twenty-five thousand six hundred in cash. So we just need to destroy the uh, gunners first. So we can get to it. I said I was going to use homing missiles on him. Whoops. Yeah, the homing missiles are a lot bigger now. Alright. Man, we're taking a lot of unnecessary damage on this, but oh well. I'm at this point in the game, I can kind of afford to do that because of all the money I've made. There we go. Alright, destroyed the ship. The ship's history. Come and pick me up. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, as you can see there, when I was firing at the emplacements, they were doing like almost no damage, so you just want to fire at the, the ship itself, so. Uh, mainly the jet nozzles on the back there, but either way it works, so. All right, anyway, we got a decent amount of uh, money for that, as you can see. And then uh, all that experience, awesome. All right, full 31 for Rook. I forgot what level he needs to be to get his final mech, but... Thanks, Albert. That'll take some pressure off her forces. I wish he'd quit being so reckless. Save it for later. We gotta get to Via Blanca. Via Blanca? Alright, let's head on to Via Blanca. Yeah, I'm kind of speeding through some of these some of these areas, so... Uh, Alright. Uh, Via Blanca is another area where there is a, um, uh, base in, a base inside of it, so... Alright. So I resupply. And yeah, I like that. that fuel. We carry all this fuel, but man, oh man, did we use it up. Ooh, boy. I am, like I said, I'm being a bit lax on my defenses, though, so. Via Blanca, the Society's Intelligence Center. Looks like your folks are out in full force. Yes, th this base is absolutely critical to the Society. Your noise can't be far away, then. Albert. What's up? I don't know. I just wish I could do more to help you. Just worry just worry about protecting the ship. Let's move! Dot, dot, dot. Alright, time to hit Via Blanca. Damn, the attack's already underway. As long as the base is still standing, let's head in. This is gonna be a close one. Okay, so, uh, I actually did a weird, uh, oh, you probably won't even notice the cut. I did cut, uh, uh, vintage. I had to actually go back and go to the shop. I forgot this place, uh, heavily requires you to be Albert in this one, so I decided to just upgrade my vest, gun, and grenade to, to level 5. I have plenty of money for it, so I'd probably suggest doing that too. There's also a couple things you can do in this area to make it a little bit easier. I would suggest getting the hard punch for a couple easy spots, and uh, uh, I think it's like missile pods and stuff like that you can use on this one to make it a little bit a little bit easier um, on this one, uh, at least for the interior part. I would also, it seems like Bianca is, or, or sorry, Bianca, Brenda is having some uh, inferiority complex about not being able to be efficient enough at uh, her job. But we all know that we need the Bonter, uh, er, uh, we need a, the carrier to travel and refuel. So she's just as important as uh, anyone else in the group. So it's all about teamwork. But, uh, you know, sometimes people lose track of that while they're playing, uh, while they're in war and all that. So anyway, the Via Blanca, the first part of it, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And then um, uh, you, uh, we have flea bonzers here, grenade bonzers, and hover bonzers. So we have to be careful about our resources in this place just because this is a decently long area. So, And we got some allies in here, the guardians. They will 
I've come up every once in a while and help, so. Alright, let's, uh, let's get our first. Oops. Yeah, so much for a good start. Alright, let's grab our first item. The VG Shot uh, Booster, but I'm not using the VG3, so. I'm not using that version for the upgrades. So ah! I keep destroying it while he's in the way. Oh, that man, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt. Oh, no! Oh, I keep forgetting to block. No! I'm just so bad about it. Yeah, we just have to be kind of be careful about... Oh, there's healing. Nice. Too bad that'll disappear almost immediately. Why did they give us a heal so early, though? Like, seriously. Alright. Okay. And sometimes we run into some allies around. Let's see. I think I want to go down here. Oh, no, I want to stay up because there's, uh, I think there's an item there. I'm trying to remember how long it takes for the Guardians to actually get destroyed this spot, so I don't remember. Anyway, here's a repair kit for, so we'll, we'll definitely be using that. Thank you, and the fact that it's really expensive, so that helps as well. Now, I'm trying not to, ooh. I'm not trying to dally here if I can help it, just because, like I said, we have this area, then we have the interior, which is going to use a lot of our resources. I mean, I say that and I'll probably oh, I'll hardly... Oh, yeah, that's right. There's no treasure here. I say that and I'll probably hardly use any of my resources, but still. Ooh. Yeah, it seems like the, most of the damage I'm getting is from the explosions from the mechs more than them actually hitting me. At least that's what it feels like. Anyway. Alright, let's go this way. Oh. Ah, oh, look at that. Did you see all that damage from just being an explosion? Man. Trying to avoid the damage, but I'm probably going to heal quite a few times. Okay, there should be some quite a few treasures here as well. Yeah, here's that. Here's five thousand dollars. And then there's one here. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. All right, and then uh, another five thousand dollars. And then let's see, we got a targeting system, auto aim, and the uh, bounce shot number four. Awesome. I gotta stop doing that. I have a bad habit of like using saying awesome when I have nothing else to really say. You know what I mean? Oof. Anyway, if we go through this door, we go inside via Blanca. Alright. There's only two treasures in this place. Alright, and they're right over here. Yeah, watch out for the. Actually, Sakata wouldn't have been a bad spot for this place, but yeah. Anyway, first aid one. And first day two, and that's it for treasure here. So anything else is uh, just getting to the location. So this place is interesting with what it requires you to do to get to the next area. And I'll show you when we get to it. Okay. Now you see uh, these little um, these little things right here. Yeah, these are little areas for uh, 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 Albert to go through. Although I don't think there's actually anything in, in this spot, but I'll show you how this works. So you destroy those things, and you can have uh, uh, Albert go through these things. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do we destroy this thing? Well, we use the grenades. But, oh, oh, crap. Yeah, that's what I hate. I hate that about the grenades. So, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do here. But, yeah, unfortunately, the grenades hurt you just as, um, just like, any, like exploding uh, vehicles and stuff like that. So... You have to be really careful when using grenades as Albert, because did you see how fast my HP started going down? But uh, I think for most of the most of the part, I don't have to. Oh, I've got damaged quite a bit. Yeah, you could use the use the pipes to get like all the way over there, but there's no point. We need our max, so anyway, let's use the repair too for now. Man, I'm just taking all that damage, crazy. Then again, I'm, I'm being pretty uh, pretty reckless. I mean, I'm trying not to be reckless, but I can't help myself. Okay, let's uh, switch to the hard punch. This makes going through this a lot faster. Because you can damage it, but you saw on the other side of it, there was like a glowing color thing, like a little red thing. If you hit that, it auto-destroys it. So, yeah, there's the other connecting bit to that one part. So. Uh-oh, missile launchers. Oh, I didn't read off what was here. Uh, okay, so the interior only has the A1 and A2. Then we have soldiers, small gun emplacements, arsenal bonzers, and missile launchers, which is what this thing is. Ooh. All right. Yeah, those pop up in a few different places. Oh, no. 
Why? I do use some prepared threes for this one, maybe. Ooh. No, stop it. Stop doing peanut damage. Should be. Ooh. And then this one takes you uh, into a small area, which there's no reason to go into it. There's like. There's like a. I think there's gun emplacements and stuff like that, too. I don't even think there's an actual treasure in there, so there's no reason. So it's like a. It's, it's a trap. You know what I mean? Don't fall for it, viewers. You do not have to go in there. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay, Rook's taking quite a bit of damage, so let's repair two. Yeah. I had to repair three, maybe. maybe. And yeah, the game knew we were gonna uh, have. Uh, well, obviously, knew we designed all that. But the game designed uh, gave you the free uh, uh, heals for Albert just in case he took some damage. That's why they give you a. Uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna reuse repair three. Um, so that way it gave you a chance if you weren't paying attention for any different one. Although you can always leave a map and come back. It does the whole, well, I've already shown you what happens when you do that. Um, we had to leave a map once to get away from that crazy laser dude. Uh, but it it, it, it it says the mission failed and you just have to redo it again. But that was story reason for that. There we go. Now, if you were playing as Albert, you'd have to go through the uh, tunnels here to destroy it, but if you had the hard punch equipped, you can uh, possibly hit this from the other side. Yeah, but th that's how you're supposed to do it. Now, there are ways to, there's one section I think I have to be as Albert. There might be a way to do it without Albert, like with certain weapons. Um, let's see. I believe it's, no, th this room, uh, it's not this room. I mean, you can't go this way with Albert if you want to. I, for, I think it's either missile pods or something. There's a weapon here that you can actually can actually make going through this place a little bit faster or easier without having to get out of your back every time. But the only ones I know are like having the hard punch. Like, uh, it might be the missile pods for this one because you have to destroy this thing right here. We, there's no way we can get this without some weapon, like grenade or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to remember what the name of the. I think it was a missile pod. I haven't done this in forever where I used other weapons, so like, uh, but anyway, let's uh, go get up our mech. Just hopefully, let's see if Rook follows us or not, so. Okay. Yeah, we just need to drop down, so. Let's, let's drop here. I think I can. Okay, there we go. That should have been enough. Okay. Yeah, just have to be careful. There's gonna be soldiers here as well. Okay. Yeah. Felt like I have upgraded guns, so I can I can fight them pretty easily. So, Oop, gotta be careful. Ah, oh, there we go. I keep forgetting how what the range is on the grenade. So, All right. okay. Anyway, yeah, that's why I kind of like this map, just because it, it you know, it forces you to do something a little bit differently. And yeah, there was a little side area here. Where you could get into, but there's no treasure there. So, if there were if there were treasures outside the field, uh, 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 um, health one and two, then I would go into those rooms. But there's nothing there, as far as I'm aware of. That ah. room of death. Ow! Stupid soldiers. I gotta have to heal. Uh, Rook again. That's almost why I wanted to be by myself here, just because I could use all my resources for me. Oh, there's the missile. Oop. Eh, let's go ahead and heal ourselves again. Eh. I mean, they did give us a repair for it, so. Oh, nice work. Thanks for taking care of that. All right, another area we have to get a grenade for. Um, yeah, I think there's another one where, maybe it's the, No, it's not quite that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember which ones that you could do it without that, so I need to... Oh, I guess I do have to go into that room. Never mind. I thought I didn't have to go through that, that section to do this. My bad. I guess I'm a little rusty on, on uh, what I what it was required for me to do for this part, so... Yeah, I should bypass all these guys. Uh-oh. That's gonna take forever. Let's see if we can get Rook to start hitting him. Nah, let's see if we can get him to respawn somewhere else. Yeah, 
because I have to go through. Yeah, I have to go through there. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, like I said, I really don't like the enemy randomness in this place. Let's see if I can reset them. Okay, let's see if he's gone now. Ah, can I do enough damage for my... I have to be careful about my grenade part here. Oop. Yeah, I can damage him, but it takes forever. <laughs> Shoot him in the face. Dude, you shot Marv in the face. Okay. Yeah, I remember the grenades being weirdly powerful uh, when you're when you're in control of Albert. So, oops, ooh. It's just like I said, you have to be careful when Albert gets hit by that stuff. So, but yeah, the fact that it requires you to use Albert is nice because, like, a lot of levels you can use Albert, but you don't have to use Albert. If that makes sense, you can just get through the whole level without that. And of course, we're just taking a bunch of damage while we're while we're doing that. So. Yeah, you take care of my suit, Rook. While I get over there. Alright, down we go. Uh oh! Man, oh man. It'd be, da it'd be dangerous. I mean, I guess I'm glad. I guess I'm glad that sometimes the, the game will uh, spawn in there just in case of a mech had spawned in there as well, but still. going through that spot again to have them respawn all over me all over again so. yeah make sure you get the get those upgrades yeah sorry i forgot to mention it before i actually went to the level it was one of those things where it was in my notes but i didn't actually uh look it up so or i didn't look at it when i went inside because i thought i i, I was because i don't like looking at my notes every every time i'm playing because it makes it feel like i'm not like involved in the moment this might be a long episode just because I want to finish this section, but we got Via Blanca and then another level after this, and this takes up quite a bit of time, but so I don't mind having long episodes every once in a while. I probably could have extended the last episode a bit longer, but oh well. Yeah, sometimes I don't have a, a very good gauge on my uh, timing for when it comes to like most games, especially when it comes to action. Well, action RPGs are a little bit harder to kind of gauge just because, you know, depending on my skill can affect how quickly I get through an area. Charge everything because we destroyed most of that stuff already. Ah, get hit by everything. More missile launchers. Pretty easy. I mean, we did take some damage from those. But... Alright. Should be at the boss section. Guardians! I am afraid, not afraid of you. Come here. I'll take you on! You've got to get out of here. This base is going to go up any minute now. That's it. I'm not abandoning you in my post. If you want to know what's in here so badly, prepare to fight for it. All right, it's boss time against the base commander. He's got armor level 4, 6400 experience. Uh, he's got the comet shot and bomb drones. And he also drops 3,160 cash. Uh, so, um, so this guy's pretty, overall pretty easy. So you just want to... Um, Watch for his blast. Right, blocked. Nah. No! I'm trying to get my damage in while. I'm... There. there we go. Yeah, he's pretty easy. <laughs> so you've come for Data Room. Much good may it do you. The society is more than you could ever imagine. Whoa! Get the data. There it is. Let's get the data and get out of here. I've reached the mainframe. What now? In step. Oh. Brenda, I'm having trouble hearing you. Hey, Brenda, talk to me. Dot, 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 dot. Damn it. 
came all this way and now this? I can't do anything with these terminals alone. Guess we'll just have to go back. Hell. Hurry up and connect the cable. We don't have much time. Exclamation point. The radio's working again? What? She came down here. What? The Brenda, you fool. What are you doing? I said hurry. B Brenda, what are you doing here? After you launched, I realized they were jamming our comms. It wasn't easy getting here, but I had luck on my side. What were you thinking? It's too dangerous. Look, I I'm sorry, but... Never mind, let's get to work. I mean, wait, she, he said it was too dangerous, but hadn't she been a mercenary forever? Doesn't she know the danger of this? Like, okay, whatever. All right. Yeah, Rook's, uh, Rook's and Nancy. What the, Janois? So this is what you were after, eh? Janois. If you think you can stop me, you were here for the same reason. Outside of this, uh, the numbers, this is the only way to gain access to the society's main base. You... You're planning on breaking into their headquarters. It's Royce. For better or for worse, she's still my sister. If you expect me to just sit back and let you kill her, I where are we gonna kill her? Master! Please, we have no intention of harming Miss Royce! Sorry, wrong voice, but So you think, but to Royce the destruction of society would be as good as death. Da, da, da. I'm a soldier Albert. I fought for so long that war itself has become a way of understanding others. Every battle between us has only confirmed one thing to me. You don't have it in you to give her the de honor of a decent death. I'm the only one who can end this. You think killing your little sister will solve anything for you? Save the preteen for someone who cares. What the hell do you know? Alright, it's boss time. It gets to noise. So he runs back and forth. He's a little bit more handy than his previous encounters. As you can see there, he's a little bit more aggressive when it comes to his uh, uh, combat, so he shoots off a lot of bullets at you this time. What the? Where'd you go? That was about to say, are you, are you running away, coward? I mean, that's what you do the last couple of times. So. Oh yeah, I guess I should go over. Uh, uh, Joyce, uh, Janoyce, he has no armor, no experience, no cast drop, and he has a rapid fire cannon. So, um, unfortunately, it does, it makes it a little hard to avoid stuff because of his, you know, rapid fire cannon, as you can see there. Oop. Yeah, it does a little, nice little chunk of damage to me, so. Actually, I probably could start using my, uh, sub weapons. That might have to heal, unfortunately. She's a rep one. That might be enough. Or not. I uh, will see. Uh, uh, Rooks almost out too. He's getting hit by quite a few shots. Fight's a little dangerous because of all the shots you can hit me with. So. Actually, Sakata would have been a bad place here just because he could protect me from all this blast. You've improved. I had to. I have too much hope riding on me, on me to give up now. I have too much hope riding on me. Okay, now that works. Uh, just for a second, the wording seemed off to me for some reason. So I used to think like that, but in conflict it is in, uh, conflict is a great in our very natures. With uh, with or without the society, war will continue. You think you can fight the inevitable? That doesn't matter to me. What's important now is making the society pay. Suit yourself. Now I gotta take any more damage, dude. 
just gotta keep blasting. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, come on. There we go. Albert? Yeah, we just have to just leave him alone. Okay, anyway. Uh, what is it? Are you still mad? Of course I'm mad. What the hell were you thinking? I'm sorry. Man, Brenda's changed over the course of the game. Usually she wouldn't get hung up about this, but apparently she cares what we think. But look, if I hadn't come, we would have gotten to, we would have gotten to date with you, right? And if you'd been killed, then what? I, I just wanted to help. Huh? All right, admission time. Is this really the time for this, by the way? Aren't we kind of in a danger zone? All right, anyway. I was jealous of Anita, how she got to fight with you, protect you, be with you while I'm stuck on the ship, waiting and hoping you're safe. I don't know. I just feel so useless sometimes. Brenda. Ever since we left Bergen, you've been by my side through thick and thin. That means a lot to me. Albert. I have more confidence in yourself. All right, you've been more help to me than you know. Yeah, like I said, she used to be pretty confident at the beginning of the game, but then she lost confidence over it. Thanks. All right, anything else? That's all of it. Great, let's get out of here. This place is getting dangerous. Come on, get in the bonzer. Uh, I, that's gonna be a pretty tight fit, Albert. We'll manage, come on. All right. Man, let's head on out of here. Yeah, get in the mech. All right, bye, Joy Janoyce. Janoyce, this place is gonna fall apart any minute now. Come on! I don't take orders from you, rookie. Clear out if you know what's good for you. We don't have time for this. Let's go. All right. All right. Let's yeah. Let's just yeah. We gotta run backwards. Moonwalking. It is. So yeah. We just gotta rush it. I don't think there's a time limit, but I'm not gonna risk it. So oh right. Okay. Right, yeah, for whatever reason, the re the blocks have been refitted again, so we have to go through those all over again for whatever reason. But luckily, because of the way they've done it, we're gonna auto we're gonna auto destroy it by the time we get there. So, I right, just make sure we're always always moving. Whoops. Yeah, just auto blast. So. Yeah, just got. Be careful, I'm already on low on HP, so. I don't think we have, I don't think there's any enemies in here we have to fight, as far as I'm aware of. Oh wait, this is the, re right, I don't, I don't know why I went this way. Oh, there was a missile launcher there that I missed. Huh, I thought I destroyed all of them. Always a big fan of the, uh, avoid, uh, run away from the explosions. You know, Resident Evil and all that other stuff. You know. All right, that's. I think we're at the. Yeah, we're at the. End there, so, all right, let's get out of here. All right, and then we have to head out the other way. Moonwalk. Yeah. Hee <laughs> I kind of like how you can do that with the dash function. Now there's just something. Entertaining about that. Uh. Get out of here! It's gonna blow! Uh. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah talk about a tense situation, huh? Yeah, I should be out of here. Alright. That's that! Albert! I'm getting a contact in this way and fast! What's your noise? Yeah, Janoyce! I'll be damned if I'm dying here. Bye. Until next time, Albert. Damn it! Why can't I stop him? We could have. You just didn't try. Alright. Well, that's the end of this little section here. Look at all the kills we got, though. Woo, boy. Look at all that money. Alright, yeah. Yeah, no more grinding for money, really. At this point, it's experience if I'm grinding for anything, so. Anyway, you can now buy the Bazooka 5 and the Bounce Shot 5, so I'll be buying the Bazooka 5. And we're gonna get to level 32. Nice. Close Kyle, huh? Far too close, Brenda. 
Don't ever do that again, all right? Does that mean you promise to lay off the recklessness too, Albert? Well, well what? Got some kind of monopoly on stupid suicidal acts of heroism? Brenda, I almost forgot. We still need to analyze that data. I'll, gi I'll give you a hand. Ooh, seeing Brenda trying to give Albert a run for his money just about gave me a heart attack. Seems like everybody in, in this outfit is catching a bad case of the crazy heroics. Better watch out, eh, Axel? Too late, man. I think I caught it already. Listen up. All right, listen up. Did you find out where the base is? Yeah. Small wonder the Guardians didn't find it. What do you mean? The society's a base. The society's base is actually a giant flying fortress. What? When did we go into Fall Fantasy territory? Like, was it the the Black Omen? You know, from Chrono Trigger? They call it Sentinel. <laughs> how how apropos, Sentinel. It's equipped with la the latest in stealth technology. As a result, it's virtually invisible to conventional sensor probing. Gross. Where is it now? We weren't able to exactly get an exact fix on it, but I passed the data on to Guardian HQ. They'll be able to calculate its flight path using satellite imaging. Well, it looks like we got our next destination, which is the uh, back to uh, Guardian HQ. But will that be enough? Will we be able to fight the, the stealth satellite itself, Sentinel? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission Gun Hazard. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.